Hey guys, look for here and welcome to another FIFA 21 SBC video. It is Thursday at 6 p.m. and EA have given us another daily foot freeze SBC. And today it is the position changed. Hey, Zeus Navas. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I he looks good, but I just can't get excited for these cards. It, it's weird. Um, like, initially, when I see these cards, I get really excited. Like, Palatana. To be fair, Palatana was actually pretty cool. But this is all we're getting. Like, nothing again for icons, man. Like, what is going on? We got, like, icons, like, two weeks in a row. And there's been nothing for about three or four weeks now. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, there is also some marquee matchups. We'll have a look at this Heizu card. Two segments to him. We will. It doesn't seem we've been given any other content, so there will be a review later on tonight. But, um, I mean, he looks nice. I just don't think he's very tall, is he? I mean, two segments to him. There for the next week. We'll have a look at his in-game stats in a second. So it's an 83-rated score with very, very high chemistry and team with equal foot champs player. Uh, and then an 85-rated score. Is this the same as yesterday? Hold on, let me check. Man, EA are getting lazy. Are they offering the same packs as yesterday? They are as well. It's literally like the repeat of yesterday uh, in terms of what you need to do to get him. And I would argue that Percy Palatano is much more better value for money than what Jesus is personally. Because I think the problem with Jesus will be his hype. We'll have a look uh, in just a second. We don't want to have a look at Palatano. We want to have a look at Navas. Yeah, five or eight. What? <laughs> He's going to be awful. Maybe he might surprise me and review him, but I'm telling you right now, in terms of value for money, Palatano is much, much better value for money. Four star skill, which is wasted as centre back. Um, two star weak foot as well. Uh, his pace, to be fair, is actually really nice for a centre back. His passing as well isn't too bad either. It's actually pretty decent. His dribbling again for a centre back is really, really good. His defensive stats as well are actually solid. Um, and his physicality stats are average. I mean, being 5 foot 8 with 77 strength, that is. Not good at all, is it? Uh, heady, uh, heading on the 80 accuracy. Um, 80 heading accuracy isn't great either. Early crosser, which is, again, that's the first time I've seen this trait this year in FIFA, and it's wasted again for a centre-back. You know, it, it's it's pointless, isn't it? It really is. Um, ah, I really don't understand the A's thinking with this SBC. Like, could they have made him... So his default position nowadays is a right back, isn't it? Couldn't he have made him like a uh, like a right winger? What he used to be at, like at his you know his early days at Sevilla, uh, at his days at Manchester City. Couldn't he have given us like a almost like a throwback Jesus Navas cards? No, they couldn't. They basically decided just to give us a waste of a card almost. But let me guys know if you think I'm being a bit too harsh there. Um, and he might surprise me when I review him. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm just seeing terrible value for money. You know, for the card that you're getting in return there, you know, Casemiro. So, I, so regular Sergio Ramos is better than Jesus Navas. In terms of stats, yeah, Navas has got much more pace. He's got more dribbling. He's got more passing. Um, he's got less shooting. Doesn't really matter too much for a centre-back. Uh, less defending and much less physicality. Ramos is just going to be so much better. I review Ramos. Look at all those player traits. His in-game stats are absolutely superb. Look at that 93 jumping, 92 heading accuracy, 6 foot in height. Um, which obviously isn't the tallest, but, you know, it's much better than 5 foot 8, let's be quite honest. Look at those, uh, you know, uh, the 85 strength, uh, the 90 aggression. He's just a better card, and is cheaper and tradable. Uh, Varane's better. I, I don't know how, how much does a Varane cost. Varane is much better than Jesus Navas. Obviously doesn't have anywhere near in terms of pace and dribbling, but defense, physicality, pace-wise, he's better. You, you know, you, you can't deny it. Um, and he's going to go for probably a similar price to the SBC, isn't he? Probably similar, maybe slightly more. No, yeah, very similar price, actually. Uh, and again, would be tradable. And our dog is a better cards. So this is a really bad SBC. I think the thing that's good about Formus is giving us cards. You know, for example, Marquinhos, when we got the SBC for him, he became the best midfielder in League 1. Give us SBCs like that. Give us the new best defender in La Liga. Don't give us the third best. Don't give us the fourth best. Give us the best. No, they don't want to do that, do they? Um, so, the, you know, this promo has been, and I hate to complain, I really do. I want, you know, but this promo from, from day one, fantastic. Massive decline since then. Massive. Nothing there. And um, nothing there as well. Poor day for EA. Poor day for content. Um, 
I'll see if they maybe put in the icon SPCs a little bit later than, than what they should have done. They might have just put them in. Might have snuck them in at like five past six. Uh, and they haven't. So, um, yeah, there will be a review on the lone Jesus Navas a little bit later on tonight. Uh, but if you, if I'm totally honest, he's not worth it at all. And I'm pretty certain when I come to review him, he won't be very good in game. And I think the majority of you guys will probably agree with me and that he's overpriced. Ramos is better. Varane is better. He's just not going to be good in game, in, 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 in my opinion, at all. Could you play him somewhere else in game? Like, could you play him? What is his what is his attack and stats like? Hold on, let me have a look at his attack and stats. I mean, I'm gonna review him as a right back, but where could you else play him? Could you play him as a midfielder? Probably could do. Even like his lack in height, I reckon he probably would better as a midfielder than, than as a centre back. But I'm gonna review him in the position that he's come out in his SBC as. So um, yeah, the review will be up later on tonight. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.